Hey folks, Mr. Bud from Mr. Bud Backwoods Channel coming to you again from my nettle patch on the edge of my property. Uh, you can see that I've got some blackberries growing good there. And mixed in with the blackberries and the nettles is poison ivy. Now the last video I done was on uh, a combination of the nettles and the jewel weed. Uh, some people call this wild impatience uh, or may pop. Touch me not. That's what I'm thinking of is touch me not. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's really a blessing. And I just found out through an online source, which I'll have to check out, that the seeds of these are edible. The uh, if you can if you can catch the seeds, I'm told that they taste like walnut, and they're found in such mass quantities here. I've got to try it. It would be a reliable food source in the in the fall. But I uh, thought I would add that in. And I realize most of us know what poison ivy looks like. This is I'm. I'm not very sensitive to it, so I'll pull it up here. Some people don't catch it. This is poison ivy. Now the Arusha oil on this thing uh, is what causes the blistering and the burning. But you can see how shiny those leaves are. Now around here the new leaves turn purple. I don't know if that does it that way anywhere else or not, but that's poison ivy. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take, since I've handled it, I'm going to take some of the cure and crush that into the same area. You can actually crush this stuff on your hands. Uh, if you're not, unless you're really, really sensitive to poison ivy, you can rub this on your skin if you're going into an area. And there's a pretty good chance that you're going to protect yourself against the ivy. So that's a good trick to know. Thanks for watching, y'all.